Welcome back everyone to my YouTube channel. Here I am again. And before we start my next... Shut up, live! Welcome back everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for liking my stuff, subscribing to my stuff and keep on doing it. It means so much to me, your loyalty and everything. And I'm really, really, really enjoying my YouTube channel. Also, at a time like this, I really would like to give a big thank you to the NHS. You are so amazing. You've been so amazing with my son, Harvey, who relies massively on the NHS. You've actually been impeccable for us and my family and for my mum. Obviously, my mum's terminally ill. She gets her medication sent to her, um, shopping, everything. And obviously, in my family, I've got two really, really vulnerable people, obviously, Harvey and my mum, that I'm just, oh, just hope to God they don't get coronavirus. We're isolating so much. Um, and anyone out there, all you carers and everything like that, big love to you because I know how hard it is. Um, and please keep safe. But on the other hand, I hope I make you laugh. I know my dry sense of humour isn't always funny, but I'm going to do everything I can to make you laugh while we're in isolation. Which brings me to my next internet slang challenge. Yes, when I got told about this internet slang challenge, I thought, here we go. Maybe I should have had my son Junior here doing this, but he's isolating at his dad at the moment. At his dad's at the moment because he thinks he's got symptoms of the coronavirus, so he has to stay well away from me. But I know if it was me and Junior sitting here, he would just wipe my ass with this. Absolute rinse you. He would, but instead, I've got Al. And why is Al here? Because he's isolating in another room in the house because he's working out with me every day and my son Harvey. So unfortunately, you're the only one I could pick to choose. Getting you in shape. Well, I have got other friends, but obviously they're in isolation. So I can only use you. Let's play the game. Are you ready for it, Elle? I'm ready. Are you ready? Right, so you're 22. Yeah. I'm nearly 42. So you should be better at this slang game than Definitely. me. Definitely. Anyway, I'm going like to start it. But just remember, if you like this game, or like anything I do, like it, subscribe, make me happy. Thank you so much for the fans out there. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here now. And um, I love you lots. I just want to make you happy. Okay, the first word is prepper. Now, I think a prepper is someone who's like done a master's degree or university who prepped their work. I think that's what a prepper is. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I think it's someone that gets things organized up front so that when it comes to it, they're they're ready to go and nothing can go wrong. Yeah. Get things prepped. Are you bored, huh? Right, so would you save someone? Are you a prepper? I don't know, I've literally never used that word. But well, I guess, yeah, I. Are you a prepper or what? I don't know, let's see what it means. Are you prepped? Well, a prepper is a person who is prepared or striving to be prepared for an incident, natural disaster, etc. So we're half right because you're yeah. preparing to do something. I think that was, that was a shit one. When they say slang, I'm on one about apples and pears and stairs. Next one. Um, I'm gonna go for it. How would you say that? Uh, socialize. 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 Do you spell that S? Socialize. That's called socialize. S U S H I L I Z E. Socialize. I would say that is somebody who loves sushi and they just like to socialize, socialize in a sushi bar. Yeah, I'd agree. Love a bit of socializing. So do I. Oh, yeah, give me a high five! Oh, yes! It actually means to socialise over sushi! Woo woo! Big it up, big it up, big it up! Whoa! I was right. Let's bring it down a bit now. Next one. Next one. Warwick! Why, w. Why we're, I've yeah. heard this. Is it Warwick? This is me. W I R A T E. Why Warwick. Why rate? Why rate? Why rate? I reckon why rate means someone so like. Wow, highly strong, like my rate, my rate, like whoa. My rate, hmm. That's what I think. What do you think it is? Why rate? That definitely wire is rate. like why rate, like you're quite wired to like, wire you're an active speed why rate. You're um, just why rate all the time. I actually don't know. I'm a bit lost with you that. You reckon one. I could be right? No, I, don't, I still don't think you're right. Alright, let's have a look. Getting really angry when your Wi Fi internet Harvey. connection is slow. Harvey! Harvey! You are Y-rate! Harvey oh, yeah. is very Y-rate. This is what you are, Harv. 
Your you, Wi Fi. You get really angry when your Wi Fi internet connection is slow, don't you? But don't you? Yeah. That's Wi Fi. Right, next. next one. Next word is. Oh, I love this one. Ellie. How many Ellie's have you had in your life? <laughs> Zero. You've never had a girl called Ellie? Zero. A E L. No, E L L Y. Is it Ellie or Ali? Ellie. Ellie. I think. Ellie, I Ellie. think being Ellie is like something to do with an elf, so I think they're, it's like a really busy. Elf. Yeah, being Ellie. What, Christmas? You believe. Oh, you're so cute! You so, believe in elves! So I think that it's like oh, someone that's. that's so being cute. Ellie is being like someone that's like running around all the time, like an keeping elf. things tidy, keeping me organised, oh, being a bit of an elf. Oh, you said like an elf! Right, come on then, what you're do you think so it is? so cute! What do you think it is? Ellie. I just don't know. So let's see. <laughs> I actually don't know. I'm going to be so wrong. Ellie is. Oh! Well, I'm, I'm glad you did know that because there's none of that going on here either. What boss. is the answer to Ellie? Boss girlfriend. That means you're a boss girlfriend. I've never heard that. Yeah. What would you say a boss girlfriend is? A weapon or weldy? Just controlling. Fit? So, a oh, a boss girlfriend. Yeah, someone's fit. Like a good girlfriend. Because there's lots of slangs, like my son would like, say they're pink that, or. I don't know, what would be a good. A world oh, forget mean. it. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I've, no one's ever called me an Ellie, so I've never been a boss girlfriend. Do you know why? Because I've been married so many times, I've always been a wifey. Uh, <laughs> right, next anyway, one. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> a convidiot. How do you spell that? Covid idiot. Covidiot. C-O-B-I-D-I-O-T. idiot. I know what that means. Covidiot. Yeah, I'm going to guess. Someone, no, no, no. No, 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 Go on. Someone who's disrespecting the coronavirus and they go out on the street, so they're called Covid, Covidiot, because you're a idiot. Sorry. So You're a Covidiot for going out and it's essential. Go on, what's An example of a Covidiot or a Covidiot would be someone that goes and panic buys so much stuff in the supermarket, like goes there and just buys like six packs of loo rolls. That is a massive Covidiot. Well, not everyone curls out as much as they do then. But anyway, Covidiot, I agree. Covidiots are selfish. Because I can't find any pasta on the shelves for Harvey. Should we see what, what it, it is. is? Yes! Relating to COVID-19, someone who ignores the warnings regarding public health or safety, a person who hoards goods, denying them from their neighbours. We were right. Smash that one. Bye bye. Next. Awkward turkey. What do you think an awkward turkey is? An awkward turkey is someone who's in bed, makes out they're really good in bed, and they lie there like a dead turkey. Right, an old person who's old, who's really awkward. An old person that's old, why? Because they look like a turkey. I don't know, I just I'll tell you what, one of my friends down below looks like a hanging turkey. <laughs> so, an awkward turkey is? The result, when one person tries to give another a high five, but the other person tries to give a fist pump. Once these two hand gestures meet, they form a turkey Should at a really awkward moment. Should we do it? So, the do result, it. when one person tries to give another a high five. Right, so just give me a high five. Go, give me no, a fish you. That's what it yeah, is. That's, that's an awkward turkey right there. That's shit. Give me an awkward turkey. Wow, that's so awkward. That's sh so awkward. We don't awkward. like that. that. How can that be slang? Next one. Night water. Night water. Well, I know. It's when someone's in the bedroom. I reckon night water is something I would like to say, but obviously that's my filthy mind, so I'll keep it clean. That night water is when you walk to the kitchen and pour yourself a glass of water. Mm, very sensible. I think night water is the same as what is I think. When you dribble on your pillow. Uh, Let's see what it is. The water you drink when you wake up in the middle of the night. Yes, I smashed it, brother. Oh, I know what a woat is. A woat is like a this lake. Is the next one, by the way. Oh, sorry. The next one is a woat. W O A T. I reckon a woat is not a goat. It's a woat. <laughs> and a woat, I reckon, is like a lake or something like that that you can fish in, but you can only fish newts. A woat. 
Harvey woke. finds that funny. I think a woat is, well, a goat is greatest of all time. Unless it's a baby So goat. I think it's like a greatest woman of all time. What? what? Yeah. I've never been called a woat though. So yeah, that can't I know, be it's true. they're not one. <laughs> right, let's find out what it is. Oh my God! Oh, worst of all time. So worst I wasn't of the right all time, line. the opposite of a goat, meaning the greatest, greatest of all time. I don't get that, but I did say goat. With the if word. someone says you're the goat, it means greatest of all time. But it's a woat. It's a woat, so you're a woat. Hold on, worst of all time, opposite of a goat, yeah. meaning, oh, so I'm great. <sighs> Do you think I'm great? I know what this one is. February, is that right? February means I know what February is because I do this every year. February, I reckon, is, and you spell it N E B U A R Y, so I'm saying it right. February is when it becomes a new year, and everyone always says in January, I'm going to start the gym, I'm going to do no drinking, I'm going to do this and that, and then when it comes to January, it never happens. Yeah. So I reckon that's why it's called yeah. February. I'm with you on that one. Do you let's reckon? Go, yeah, let's go down. The date used for something that will never happen. There we go, hit that one. Yeah, but that was January though. February. The date used. Close. Yeah, it's close, yeah. Give me Pretty cold turkey. Clear. Nah, do a proper one. Whoa! Well, I'm getting good at this. Yo! No. Good yard, I know what a good yard next, is. Next one, good yard. Good yard. G O O D Y. Good yard. A good yard is someone like me. I'm good all rounder. I'm like a yard. A yard has a like, good shed, tools, like organisation. Well, put, nah. I nah. am a good yard. A good yard. I'm like so a, good a yard egg. is someone's house. People yeah. say a yard is someone's house. Yeah, I'm a so good I'd yard. So I say a good yard is like when you say someone's got a good yard. Yeah. So like this is a good yard. I'm, uh, yeah, it's I'm a nice house. I'm a good yard. No, you're saying as in right. So you think it's a person? Yeah, I'm a good yard. I just yeah. think it's a place. Like this is a good yard. No, yeah, well, let's see. All right, fine. Now, hey, a good yard is an autocorrect version of a drunken good, good night. night. <laughs> what? what? Completely Could wrong. Even further away. Good yard. It's an autocorrect version of a drunk and good well, night. So if you're drunk and you're saying good night, you're like, good yard. Well, no, it's just like, you was a good yard. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds German, good yard. Good yard. Rob. Right, next. Good and ne up. Next. Oh, I know. Ooh. Yes, this is Alli me. All Alligator arms. That is me. Because I'm so kind, genuous, loving. You've not experienced it, but I have alligator arms because all I want to do is that. Like, you know, like they get snappy, neat. No. Alligator arms are like just cuddly, cuddly, nah. cuddly. Okay. Well, alligator arms wouldn't be cuddly, would they? It's got really sharp teeth in. So no, I think not alligator arms. Huh? I'm an alligator arm. Alligator arms is going to be something to do with someone that hugs you, but then they hurt you or something. Something along those lines. Oh, well, yeah, that's happened recently. When someone pretends to reach for the check at what? When someone pretends to reach for the check at a meal with friends, but always get it to a little too late. That always happens to me. I always pay the bill. Anyone out there? The reason I pied you off as my friends is because I always fucking pay the bill, and I've changed my life around. You Beep. scumbags. Your alligator right. arms. Next. Next. <laughs> Right, next one. Oh, yes! Marry the ketchups. Marry the ketchups. Well, guess what? I've married all kinds of sauces, but I've never married a ketchup. <laughs> marry the ketchups. Marry the ketchups. I actually don't. What do you think that marry is? Marry the ketchups means you're going to marry someone in a red uniform. Let's have a look. Wait, marry the, marry the ketchups. Hmm, marry... I don't know. I actually have no idea. It's where you pour a half full bottle of ketchup into another half full bottle so you have one full bottle. Right. I don't know why you'd ever Who do that. would ever make that up? You just finish it, surely. Well, of course. You just squeeze and go. <sighs> oh yeah, I love like Heebie Jibbies. I know heebie what jibbies. that is. Heebie Jibbies is like Getting freaked out. In my in, in in my old house that was like haunted, people get the heebie jibbies when I'm like, let's do a Ouija you, board. Yeah, They're the like, oh I get like the heebie jibbies. Getting scared. Let's <laughs> yeah. right, see what the definition is. A feeling of minor fright, anxiety, nervousness, 
and at apprehension. That's it, I've got that spot on because I always give people the heebie jeebies. Vibe, vibe check. check. Oh, yes. Right, this so is what I do right. on a daily basis. Vibe check. You're That's checking me. someone's vibe, so like. That's me. Obviously, all the time. a vibe is like how someone's feeling, what what vibe they're giving off. Yeah, so that's you, me. A vibe I'm check vibe. is like checking, being like, like I'm how am I like, feeling? Yeah, I'm quite like, I would say, I'd always do the vibe check on people, analysing to see, like, I know what I mean. Do you like this person or not? Like, yeah, well, are they, they giving like off me? good energy? A spontaneous and unusually random time where someone checks your vibe. A vibe check should usually be a pleasant experience where the person being checked is vibing! Vibing! Only, only good vibes in this place. Yes. Right. We're sort of right on that. Oh, that's it. Oh my god! Mm. I think that's it, guys. I think there's no more. There's just no more. Please write in with more, more of this stuff because I've actually learned a lot today and I've surprised Try myself. Try out your own slang games. Yeah, try get on, Go on Urban Dictionary, just get some slang terms off there. And test me. I'll oh, come and I love that. And believe it or not, although I'm nearly 42, I actually got a lot of them right. I'm actually quite surprised. You're quite surprised. Write your slang comments in down below in the comments. Yeah. If you subscribe, like my page, do it now, challenge me to the test to more slang words and see if I get them right. I'm quite impressed with that. That was good, I enjoyed that. Thanks for joining me guys. I loved it and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I made you laugh and I hope you were pleasantly surprised that although I'm 42 years of age, nearly, she's hip.